Can you talk about SMT and what that, what that means? Yeah, SMT stands for Surface Mount Technology. Um, it's, a, it's a method of manufacturing surf, uh, circuit boards. The alternative would be through hole manufacturing of circuit boards, which is a different design of circuit boards. Most circuit boards nowadays that you see uh, in an iPhone or anywhere else are a bunch of small chips placed on top of a circuit uh, panel. And they don't necessarily have holes through them. They're just placed on top on copper pads, uh, traces they're called, on the top of the circuit board. And that's what we do in the other room, which is a semi-automated process and allows us to build all of our own circuit boards here in-house for our a variety of different products. I'd, I'd be guessing, but I'd have to say we probably have 15 to 20 different unique uh, SKUs for our circuit boards. So that's how many different circuit so boards we make. When you think of a cell phone, for example, smartphone, Apple designs the phone, Foxconn manufactures it. So for the saltwater aquarium business, you're kind of the combination of the design and manufacturing all together. Mm -hmm. Why is it that you don't just design like Apple and then send it off to China to have somebody else manufacture it? There's a whole list of reasons. Um, I, could, I could start with an easy but absolutely true issue of pirate, uh, piracy and copying. So in order to accomplish that in real terms, we would have to find a contract manufacturer overseas um, because if we're going to make the whole product overseas, we're not going to be working with the injection molding vendor himself and the machining vendor himself and the pad printing vendor and the rubber gasket maker and everything and then sending them all to another business and then having a manager oversee all the assembly workers. We would have to find a company that will do that for us, that will work with the sub vendors. That's like what Foxconn is, a contract manufacturer. Um, when you do that, you put a lot of trust in, the, in their hands and uh, you're basically hoping that one, they'll control the product to the quality standards that you set, which can be made simpler by writing down what those quality control standards are and then periodically auditing to make sure they're, they're performing them. But you're also holding them to the standard that they're not going to sell your product on the side. And there's a lot of interest in um, American design and American made aquarium equipment in China because they do have an aquarium industry. But it's very hard to get American products into China because of their, their tariff, um, the, the way they tariff products. It's very expensive. And so there is a lot of demand for contract manufacturers of products that are sold in America to sell them under their own brand names in China. And we can have intellectual property in the US, but that doesn't mean it's necessarily going to get us anywhere in China. And on top of that, even if we do register for intellectual property a patent in China, it would be very expensive to defend that patent in China. And, and as we've seen, often not, uh, not very